The way City is responding to new digital challenges is actually, first of all, looking at what's happening in the environment. Why is there transformation in the environment? What are the new entrants? What's driving the new entrants coming into the environment? And part of the reason is that we're dealing with new types of companies that are more digital, who need to be delivered to digitally. So City is looking at ways of being able to provide services, not only to traditional companies that are going digital, but companies that are born digital, that have needs for global uh, solutions because companies that are born uh, digital tend to grow very quickly and tend to become cross-border very quickly. So we're really looking at, at those kind of solutions. But in terms of what this means for the treasurer with the growth of digital, we find that treasurers are looking to look at payments on an end-to-end -end basis to understand who is in the value chain of that payment, when are payments moving through end to end, how much is being charged, and they want to be in a position to have proof of payment and to be able to track those payments and know when they are received. So we are looking at being more simple, more digital, and more global and what, or leveraging our globality, I should say. So in terms of simplification, what we're trying to do is to onboard clients a lot more simpler, simplify documentation, simplify our solutions and um, how we approach clients. From a global perspective, we're looking to leverage our global footprint to ensure that we are able to provide the breath of city and provide last mile payments and solutions for our clients. Digital clients are, 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 are sort of relatively new clients, but they grow and proliferate very quickly. So we have to make sure that we are able to provide last mile payments for them on a global basis. And on, from a digital perspective, we're looking to digitize the interfaces with our clients using more APIs. We're looking to digitize ourselves by looking at um, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and robotics to make sure that we're more agile. And we're also looking um, to help our clients to become more digital. So really looking at solutions um, to help them collect taxes and to ensure that we digitize and enable those solutions from a more digital perspective. So I think as um, the opportunities we see in terms of what's happening, especially with PSD2 and in Europe, is with banks opening up their infrastructure, uh, there's two aspects. One of the aspects of banks opening up their infrastructure is more of the compliance aspect, which we had to comply on the 13th of January. And that is the publishing of APIs to enable our clients to use third parties to make payments. The other aspect which we believe is more compelling and more interesting, because this is the transformational bit, is the ability to consume, for us as a bank, to consume other APIs to enable collection from bank accounts. And we can do that because the infrastructure is opening up in Europe. And one of the things we're looking at is how we can start testing that hypothesis in the UK, where CMA9 banks have come together with one single API standard. And we are looking to see how we can use them to test the hypothesis around account based collections collecting for our clients um, so that we give them an alternative to wallets and cards as collection mechanisms. So we really see that as an opportunity opening up um, with the advent of PSD2 uh, going live and specifically starting in the UK to test out um, this hypothesis.